Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Founders Grid sponsored by Gaper.io. Today we have Jesse. Jesse is the CTO and co-founder at Here. Jesse, welcome to the show. Thanks. So prior to Here, can you give us a brief background about yourself, what you've been doing at Swerve or Instagram? Sure. Yeah. Um, so I'm 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 pretty old by uh, by tech startup standards, I guess. <laughs> I've been um, I've been uh, around the uh, uh, New York, in particular, startup scene for about 20 years, um, working mostly in mobile. Uh, I uh, led the mobile engineering team at Guilt Group, uh, built um, a prior startup uh, called Dasher that was uh, acquired by uh, by ZX Ventures. And then I guess the last few years I've spent, uh, you know, working at Instagram, uh, helping start up their shopping product. Uh, and uh, Facebook, working on Facebook Live, and um, yeah, and I, I left uh, left the the social giant uh, about a year and a half ago um, to get back into the startup world. Um, spent some time helping a a friend uh, running engineering for uh, an augmented reality company. So pretty interesting technical challenges there, and um, so interesting. that's interesting. Uh, interesting. So, uh, what pushed you? What was the initial plan? Or what was the thing for starting up with here, and especially in the middle of pandemic? Yeah. <clears throat> well, so I was not sure, uh, you know, what, what what I wanted to do next, honestly, and I. Um, I interviewed at a few jobs, uh, you know, over the phone, over Zoom, and I, um, uh, you know, this was like right around uh, lockdown where travel wasn't possible, um, and everybody was sort of trying to get an early sense on what remote work was. You know, I, uh, like a few people were very familiar with it, but the whole world was suddenly plunged into it. And um, the thing that I realized when I was interviewing was that the thing that matters to me the most about work is the people that you work with and the remote work environment uh such as it was then uh felt a lot like uh the work became very transactional when you're working with people remotely you're uh, having these very like point-based meetings uh where you get together for a half hour and talk about status or you know you do the sprint planning or something like that but you don't really um you, you don't really get to uh get to know somebody on a more personal level in the same way that you can when you're sitting in the office next to somebody so um my uh, my partner Seth and I were we've been talking about uh uh building some stuff together for a long time and uh we became really obsessed with the idea of what it would what it would take to create the sensation of somebody really actually being present in a room with you and, and creating the sort of like level of like closeness and expression um, you know that it would take to have two people like truly collaborating in a fluid way rather than like me presenting uh, something to you and so that was the genesis of, of here got it got it interesting so as a startup founder, you're supposed to wear multiple hats from the CTO to the sales, to the product market fit, to the early customer mm -hmm. discovery, then building a startup out of New York, you know, in middle yeah. of the pandemic with the, the spaces being clustered and stuff. How have you been able to navigate through all of that? Uh, <laughs> uh, it's, uh, y you know, I think you have to uh, you have to be really ruthless about prioritization uh you know when you're when you're building something you really have to think about how badly you need it um you uh you know i find myself erring on the side of action so you know even if something needs to be done uh, you just do it even if you're bad at it <laughs> and and if it's if it you know uh and then, and then you find out what the big gaps are and you work, uh, you, you find uh, creative ways to fill them. You know, I'm lucky that I, the uh, complimentary uh, with my partner, you know, we work on, we're each of us for the most part are good at the thing that the other one is not so good at. Yeah, got it, got it. Makes sense, makes sense. 
so you know since uh mental health you know what three productivity hacks because mental because founders or co-founders they're supposed to be workaholics you know and eventually mm-hmm. for me uh, i look after sales at the company so i just for me it used to be like you know i used to be out and about whenever i used to get back to my hotel room or airbnb or home that is when i used to get to realize okay i'm home now i need to shut down and relax but mm-hmm. now it's work from home so it's i'm unable to shut down and i started feeling the burn around july and i started feeling the burn being reflected to the teams in july so then i started yeah. making some tweaks in my schedule work habits and things like that then not 100% there but at least there 50% so did you feel those burnouts and how were you able to kind of like cope up with it and stuff uh, yeah that's a <laughs> man that's talk for hours about that or know how much time we got just talk about <laughs> but, um, it. We'll it. We'll it. yeah it's in our hands just talk about it no really um it's it's a real problem and i think um you know the way that i've been coping with it this time and i have i have two children at home too so it's very um it's you know it's it's kind of hard to focus on anything for more than 10 minutes uh while they're doing homeschool and you know all uh, taking care of them and all of that as well so i tend to wake up very early uh as early as i can and i always uh you know start off with uh like meditating for a while you know not it doesn't have to be long you know 15 minutes fine and like just you know it's sort of uh like a grounding exercise just realizing you know that like the, the i guess like like gratitude you know being great uh, like grateful for all of the opportunity that you have and it really um like like starting the day where you put your situation and your life in perspective really helps um helps you from getting obsessed with the detail to the point that it really um you know makes your hair fall out yeah does that make sense yeah it makes it is it is it is to an extent yeah i get you i i hear you where you're coming from so uh i believe you went to yc right yes in the summer you were the first cohort that went online yeah yeah we were the first fully remote uh it was actually you know because uh i I I didn't I you know I didn't want to travel to California for 3 months you know given I have family here and all of that so it was the first opportunity that I've ever had to be uh, a a YC company yeah and how's the experience of going uh, through an accelerator more do you think you've created those meaningful uh, things or relationships that YC is so much famous for um you know what like I don't have an an alternative to compare it to because <laughs> it was my only YC experience but uh I you know I actually did get to know uh, uh some really some really great people uh during the batch and we you know we stay in touch we're probably friends forever and um you know we we had a group of uh I think about like you know it's like subdivided and then subdivided again YC is a very big organization now so um you know we had probably you know 16 to 20 people who are like in one sort of like sub sub cohort and we would get together every other week you know or every yeah every week or two uh during the YC batch and um you know talk very openly about problems you know it's not a place where you uh have to pretend like everything is going great all the time uh you can pretty pretty upfront about that and that's a really uh that's a really valuable group of people to have around you know and after YC ended we actually decided to keep the meetings going so we still get together and yeah. you know cry on each other's shoulders yeah it's very really helpful that's important that's really important jesse thank you so much for being on the podcast we have we'll have to cut it at 12 minutes but we'll let's stick around after the podcast and few discussion but thank you so much for being on yeah the- sure thank you for having me it's fun <laughs>